Thoughts on China? I think they are by far the most dominant region. I think they'll consistently win international uh, events from years to come. I actually think that, that Korea is coming into this tournament way stronger than they were. Like, I've been pretty impressed by DRX. I, I knew Damwon was good, but uh, like I think that Korea could, could definitely win this year. I don't think it's uh, for sure China. Poll? All right, let's put the poll in the chat. Dude, you guys are actually smurfing, by the way. You guys have the highest prediction rate out of any analyst right now on the broadcast. Or even, like, the ones that are doing their own predictions. Hard one to predict. <laughs> oh my god, this is brutal. Dude, where are my NA viewers at? Oh wait, they're all asleep because Worlds is at 1am in North America. You know, at least most players don't actually- Most of the North American players don't actually have to- Or, like, get to watch Worlds, so... It's not even that bad. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I mean, I'm going G2 as well. I actually think that G2 could choke a game like this. They randomly lose to weaker teams sometimes. So, maybe that happens, but... There's no way that, based off pure analysis, I can go into this game after what we've seen and be and be like, yeah, I think G2 will lose to TL. I just don't do it. Maybe maybe if G2 does a horrible draft, but I think G2 can just do the same draft they did versus Machi. I think they can do the same exact strategy. Ban out top lane, take Graves, or just give them Graves, don't give a f And just play off like an early pick Camille. Impact probably can't play the counters, and you're just chilling. I really feel like G2 can just poke. This is bad for TL, I would assume. I think it's bad for TL. He's getting flashed on? Okay. He has to smite. So Yanko's really trolled that. They needed to let it reset. Uh, they had to let the buff reset and just keep on poking. Because they win a poked out fight. But they lose all in. So that's actually pretty good for um, for for TL. That's really good. Broxa should like be able to hard carry this game off that. Nilly's behind once again. Oh wait, what did he just do? Wait, Broxa just lost his flash for no reason. What did Broxa just do? <laughs> Gord just took the play. He doesn't give a some of that pressure and we can see the G2 bot lane Yanko's lost the crab too. Yanko's really far behind. His Nidalee looked really sketchy yesterday in the early game. It's looking sketchy again. I mean, you've got the five farm lead for Jensen in mid, but Roxa now, speaking of a fight in the mid lane, though, Core JJ dropped below, has the punch for the shield if he needs it. They'll jump forward. Big oh, Yanko's is dead. Yanko's is burning down. Good, good. Really good. Really good. And Impact, uh, Impact was there. The, that was 5v4. So Teal's doing pretty well this game. Oh, hold up. Wait, they just killed Jensen. That's really big for, for G2. G2 should not be winning this. Oh my god, and they got Broxa? That's actually really, really big for G2. Teal was doing super well up until this. We'll see how much else they lose. Broxa lost Flash. Jensen's dead. So they have to run here. They have to kite. This is actually really bad for them. Super bad for G2 here. Oh, but Tactical got jumped on. Tactical's dead. That's huge. Tactical dying is absolutely massive. They probably lose the fight now, I would assume. He needs to, to auto somebody else. Oh, he needed to E somebody out. I guess he, he had no E. So they can run mid and get tier 1. Teal's doing fine. Kind of wish they were doing a little bit better. Because they, were, they had such a big gold lead early on into the game. But they're doing fine. Just winnable. So now this is like one of G2's classic moves. Where they put both uh, laners, both solo laners together. However, I think it is still winnable. I think it's still winnable. I think Caps loses this. Okay. Good TP from Jensen. So, one thing that, that G2 likes to do is they, they do this, like, little, like, gambit with you. Where they send people bot. They send two people bot with TPs. And they kind of try to, like, force you into starting Baron. And then if you start it, you normally just end up doomed. You gotta run. It's good for from TL so far. They've played a lot better in the last couple minutes. There was, like, five minutes there where, they, where things started to get away from them. But then they, they picked it up. Caps has no flash, or he does have flash. Okay, he's fine. 
Wait, Jensen? Jensen's getting engaged on. Is he okay? Good for TL. Good. They, they win the game here. They win the game here. They get they get Baron off this. Jason's been useless this whole game. This should be this should just be free game for TL. They they literally get Baron base go to Dragon and they just have an advantage in a Dragon fight. I feel like a lot of the picks at Worlds have been like not good picks for Caps though. TF Galio Jace like these picks are, are not what got them here right like the the way G2 plays normally is they play with like hyperscaling control mage mid and Caps just normally outclasses the enemy mid laner and like solo kills them so they play like Syndra and they play Zo Zoe I guess Zoe's not like super hyperscaling but they even play Orianna. I feel like that's the strategy you need. I mean, G2 is just like this, dude. Like, this is just, this is classic G2. I mean, a bunch of people said it on fucking different platforms like Twitter, etc. Like, people were just like, dude, the most G2 thing ever is you beat the, the two better teams in your group and then you just lose to, like, the worst team. It's like the Fong Vu Buffalo. This actually looks like it could be very bad for a TL, though. It looks like they kind of griefed. They're probably still fine because they have Soul. Mickey stalled the backline here, but yeah. Like set pretty much got nothing off the engage. They're letting G2 scale, but I mean they still should outscale and win. Shouldn't be a big deal. Oh wow, they're TPing in. They're trying to do the Baron here, aren't they? Oh no, never mind. They're trying to just kill Tactical. Okay, they flash on Tactical. Ash is gonna try to kill him. They're on Graves. Tail kind of the out fine. They should be okay, I think. Yeah, Tail Tail should be fine. They have flash. Perks is no flash. Perks is dead. Yeah, this is a game winner. So they can probably just end here, right? They can TP Jensen bot and just slowly chase with impact in the end. Yeah, it's a win. There we go. Hey, look at what happens when they draft better, dude. Look at what happens when they don't blind Twitch Recon. When they don't blind Twitch Recon. They look like a team. Knocking out the LEC sweethearts of G2 and getting a taste of revenge from MSI I mean, I think the problem here for TL is that like they're they're already behind in the group pretty heavily. So they really need most likely a win against Sooning to get out. I would think. Dude, how are people so salty that they're like when NA actually wins the game, they're like, dude, there's only one NA player on the team. Like, come on, man. Let NA celebrate their victory, dude. Yeah, I'm going Gen.G on this one. And then I'm going TSM on the last one. Because I fucking believe. You're going Gen G on this one? Gen.G. Yep. Stay perma delusional. I will see with draft. Man, it's looking like a Fanatic win to me. <laughs> yeah, they're it. locking Oriana. Oh, yes, please lock it in. They will. They will, they will. I think it's a really good draft for, for Fanatic. I mean... Really good drafts on both. I think the Fnatic, like, I would rather be Fnatic with their drafts than Genji with theirs. I draft, I, like, when I look at draft, I evaluate so much about, like, players. Oh, Ruler missed. Oh, Kingdom. Okay, wait. Life just needs to flash here. <laughs> oh, it's so grief, the summoners, man. It's so insanely grief. No, that was really cringe for that is so. Yeah. He's just dead, isn't he? Oh, this is really cringe gameplay from life. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, it is what it is. Ruler's dead too, at least the SDP. Oh, that flash was just awful. Wait, he's just dead again. Oh, he let's go to allow this. This is so weird what I'm watching right here, man. Uh, it's actually really worse for Fnatic. Yeah, they got two TPs out of that, two, three TPs out of that, and flash. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe Clit is just going for it. Oh my god, the cleanness. That was really dead. 
smoke screen used. Clay's gonna try and jump with the wall, but can't get there in time. He was domination saying, yeah, if he had unflinching, the game was over. Wait, this is actually really good for them, I think, though. Well, he's dead for sure. Haley's dead too. Uh, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead too. Okay, oh we have a game. God, is throwing so hard. Wait, Haley, you're standing on the fucking ward. Hello? <laughs> this guy have a stroker? <laughs> like, he's just too alpha. I don't know. I just don't he's know. such a nutcase. That guy. I love him. <laughs> he's so good. How come junglers are just the most alpha players on every team? Like, tell me, tell me, Clay doesn't look like he would just beat your ass in a in a boxing match. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Chief. Wait, what are you talking about, man? Like, this guy literally is wearing sweatband, sweatband stuff, in pro game. Actually, I'm trying to think of other teams with chat. I mean, Cars has a bit of a chat too. Okay, yeah, and self-made. Self-made is by far the scariest guy on on Fnatic. Yeah, that guy looks like he's gonna give up a bit. Yeah. Let's look at other teams. Broxa. Broxa's like 6'8". He's built like a fucking door. Respect. Wait, what was his flash? Uh, right. well, he is very dead. During two minutes, I mean, I don't even know if it's like... Uh, I don't know if I'd want my top laner TPing here just for one kill. I mean, I wonder if Gen I guess Genji is just giving the, the Drake. I mean, I don't think it gets any better for them as the game goes on, though. Yeah, this Ezreal needs a couple more items to be a human champ. It's only his ear. Nilly's kind of useless. I mean, the Ezreal didn't even go the Gauntlet build. He's oh, just going to get one shot. It's going to be a scrap. Actually, good positioning for Rascal, though. Oh, we oh, got onto... Mega good. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's fine. I guess they're just turning on TP. Oh, oh my, my god, god that Ori shockwave. Holy f Ruler's dead. Wait, it's it's like oh, it's just an oh, it's end. Over, they can end. It's an end. Oh. Reckless is just alpha, man. What the f uh, it's over. Respect. Yeah, I think they, they really draft cap this game. It's a turbo draft cap, yeah. I wonder how much like extra effort Whippo puts in for the cameras. Oh, yes, Fnatic. Yes. Holy shit, they did it. That's bad for TSM, man. So you think TSM's going to win this next game? Wait, you, you said Gen.G was going to win this game. Yeah, I thought, I thought Genji was going to win pre-draft, and then post-draft, I thought Fnatic hard won. Man, I, I, uh, man, I was going to go TSM. I'm going to go TSM. Uh, am I just trolling? You can tell me if I'm trolling, man. You're not trolling. I'm going to go TSM, too. You're going TSM? Okay. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just feel like TSM is going to let me down, bro. It's double lift at Worlds. Oh, look, it's Mark Zimmerman. You know, this guy was my analyst, my coach. You know, he lived in my closet. Like, unironically. He lived in your closet? Yeah, he lived in, in, in a closet in our gaming house. Bruh. Dude, we had, we had a four-bedroom house, right? Four-bedroom house, like, maybe, like, 3,000 square feet. So, like, nice-sized house, but we had 13 people living in that house. Six people in one bedroom. Saint had to sleep on half the bed, and Joker Steve had to sleep on the other half. Mark Z was in the closet. We had a special in, in the room. We had, we had, and, and I think... I think one, oh, Keen lived in that room too. So that was six in one room, and then it was me and Cop, and then it was Voidboy and Quas, and then it was St. Vicious, and then we had. People were there. Oh man, it was too many people. It was way too many people. And then we had a coach that was there for a little bit, and then sometimes we'd have one more person, um, like, like Steve's friend who also, like, yeah, like helped with like business and stuff. Sometimes he would stay there too. He would, like, get sponsorship deals. Mm. It was crazy, bro. What the hell? Just, just play five players and a coach. Yeah, no, it was five players. It was five players, coach, analyst, manager, owner, sponsorship guy, two academy players. Yeah, it was nuts. That's so cringe. I wouldn't be able to focus. Yeah. You know, I'm like mega allergic to cats. Really? What happens to you? I, like in 15 minutes, I get like hives and shit and I start like my throat starts closing. And if it's like longer than that, I just have to go to the hospital or I just die. It's like so insane. What, really? Yeah, I got like, there was once where I tried sleeping over at somebody's house and I just got like, I couldn't breathe. I had hives all over my body. My parents had to pick me up when I was like a kid. It's, and we watched the cat instead of TSM. I mean, if you're an animal lover, I think the TSM game will be right up your alley. <laughs> I had to, I had to, dude. He set me up for it, come on. 
Come on, dude. What am I supposed to say? Uh, that was a really good one, actually. Jesus. Dom doing his prediction. I told you, the, 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 the predictions this world are going to be edgy. Wait, is he dead? Wait, who? Oh, oh my god, man. Nah, there's no way. Oh, it is. Uh, open. Las Vegas, I think. I love NA. It's so funny. What? Or it's so different. I don't know. NA is like... Wait, Bard Flash there? What the f*** is going on? Ah, oh, so, Burger so... King. They have channeled, they have channeled. No mm -hmm. TP on top. Yep. Just go 3v5 dive, can win. Oh, try to no, he got cancelled on the taunt. How can they not kill all three of them there, by the way? Yeah, I feel like that should have been better. So what did Biofrost flash here, is my question. Like, he, like, this guy has no hook. What did he flash? What? He's just griefing, right? Like, that has to be a grief. Shed is behind. Renekton has no TP. Okay, it's good. USA. You, wait, what? I feel like he should have torn flash. My question here is like, uh, where's Biofrost flash? <laughs> uh oh. Is he gonna die? Yeah, he's, no, he's so dead. Oh my god, man. Wait, why did Peanut ult? <laughs> why did I why did I put fate in TSM? Ah, I mean, dude, this is how I do it, man. My my pre-draft is like pretty meme. My post-draft is, is serious. Okay. I told you they're just the best team in the world, man. Like, what do you want me to say? You can kill him, no? With ult? Bjergsen? Wait. Oh, he's gonna die or what? He has to flash. Yeah, and I think he's dead anyway. He's dead. Yeah, that's really sad. Oh, it's open season. I don't think LS said Cleaver's always bad. I think they just fucking dumbass people just have no idea, like, when it's good or when it's bad. Okay, yeah, that's a I think that, that's the thing. I mean, I think LS probably knows when it's good, when it's bad, but people like copy it. Yeah. And then they just tweet it themselves as if it's bad every game. Yeah. And it's not. They're like, lol, lost the shopkeeper and built Cleaver against seven tanks as a fucking Graves. What an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. I know, like, they make such stupid excuses. Like, yeah, it's like, there's like three tanks. Yeah, but he has to one shot the carries if they're gonna win. <laughs> and then it's like, I don't know. It's so crazy. It's the same type of people that fucking play in bronze and they're like, man, imagine focusing the tanks as a Graves. Ah, you hate to see that. Oh! Okay. Oh, he played it so good. But Jorgensen. Dude, why does he look no, so sad these so days, good. man? That's yeah, the stress. Of having to completely carry every game. Bro, please don't cry, Bjergsen. I, I, don't, I think that that's where I would, I would shed a tear if I ever saw Bjergsen cry. He's all we got here in NA. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Okay. Which thing gets to the airport first out of the NA teams? <laughs> Come on, man. Well, TL plays first day, so I think they can get first. Okay, so they can get out of there fast? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's good It's good uh, analysis, I think. <laughs> there's someone uh, <laughs> There's someone in the Riot Games Twitch chat saying his, his username is quote if NA speed run airport any percent. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a banger. It's a banger name. Okay, I mean, NA is still better than EU, let's be real. Third seed greater than one seed. Yeah, well, the poke was missing. <laughs> <laughs> Those test your cues were flying very well. Going through bot, good choice, I like it. <laughs> I hate it. I, I really hate it. Don't get hooked. K got hooked. Stole oh, he got the it? Dragon, though. Wait, but they just their whole team just exploded, though. Okay, well, they got the dragon, so... Uh, Wait, but the game is over, man. They're gonna literally run it down mid and end. But they got the dragon. They got the dragon. But, but they, like, they, they literally are gonna be in the airport by noon. <laughs> yeah, but they're gonna have a dragon a statistic that's a bit higher. Wait, maybe they can ride that dragon back home. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. We didn't even cover that method of transportation. <laughs> Holy, it's too insane. <laughs> <laughs> That's what SpyQuest has been using as well then. They use dragons. They're just eco-friendly. Yeah. 
Gregson is nowhere to be found. Yeah, he's got a really good position though for Kramer. Yeah, Kramer's dead. Oh, he lived. Oh, that was big. But but uh, Ezreal actually clipped Senna there. Double is dead. Ah, it's game over. Oh, that QSS, Captain Jack. <laughs> that was the latest QSS I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> no, you talking about it. That was Captain Jack. No, man. That is reportable. He's gonna die. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, Jay just TP's mid. Yeah, TP's mid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Graves caught his edge of night. Yeah, I thought he was a good choice this one for sure. Beautiful team fight at the end there from LGD. You know how, how, how cringe it is when he completes that Ghost Blade and then, <laughs> again, Peanut picks up Tabby's and just negates it? He's like, oh, my, my Tabby's just countered your f***ing Ghost Blade. Peanut's just laughing when he presses tab. Yeah. Oh, guys. Oh, man. It's just too much. It's too much. I tried to have faith. Hey, post pick, man. Looking all right. Pre pick, man. I'm just, I'm just going to die with an A. Hey, I'm going to keep on voting in A. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna keep on voting NA pre pick ban. No matches tomorrow? True. NA is not gonna lose one game tomorrow. NA won't lose one fucking game tomorrow.